Alright guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today we're going to be uh, having a different kind of video. It'll probably be in addition to one of my usual uploads. But I just wanted to address um, NASCAR's unique position in the face of having every other major sport cancelled in the United States. There are no sports left that have not cancelled their games or their seasons or they're in the offseason like the NFL. And they're talking about cancelling, uh, you know pro days and stuff like that, ceasing their normal operations as well. Now, before we get into it, I know you've already heard a lot about it. It's all over the media in the U.S. and around the world on this unfortunate situation with the COVID-19 uh, virus. And uh, I just wanted to say that I hope you and your family are well. Please take precautions to keep yourself healthy. Even if you're young and it won't you know, affect you or the death rate is very low, you could infect other people and get them hurt. So please be careful. And um, I know a lot of people think that this is an overreaction, everything that's going on. But at the end of the day, even if you personally would not die or get sick from the coronavirus, you could become a carrier and hurt other people. So please take precautions out there. Now we get into the meat and bones of this video. NASCAR's unique position in what is the sports apocalypse at the moment. They have two options. They are continuing to try and run these races without fans as of right now, my recording. Um, their upcoming races are at Atlanta and Homestead. I think they have an opportunity right here if they do put out this race at Atlanta, if they're able to get it done in physical, real life, that they could make a ton of new viewers. They have to be on top of their game with this broadcast and this on-track action. You need to be introducing new fans to the sport during this broadcast without being patronizing to the people that have always watched NASCAR. Give out lots of information about why this is so tough, why these cars are so competitive, why this is exciting stuff, and um, maybe even get some legends in or get some, you know, throughout history, what's gone on in NASCAR, educate some people about who the greatest of all time, you know, are. I think this is a great opportunity because you're going to have people watching this with no other options. You know, there are no other sports in the U.S. So if they're able to watch this and see how great NASCAR can be, I'm glad, honestly, that the next race is in Atlanta because it is a race known for excitement, known for exciting finishes. So if it can pull off a classic Atlanta race, then this could be huge for the future of NASCAR. As crazy as that sounds, hopefully there is a future after all. And in addition, they can carry this momentum if they are able to race at Homestead after that. Same thing. Just make an informative, you know, exciting broadcast that really shows why NASCAR is competitive and should be relevant still in 2020. Now, if they do end up having to cancel the race, this is a whole different route. NASCAR is in a unique position because of the power of iRacing and sim racing in general. They can still have all the drivers in a race together. I know this sounds crazy and not everybody's going to be for it, but let's say you buy a couple thousand dollars worth of rigs and you just give them out to all the drivers, have them go home where they're safe, not going to get sick, and they can arrange some sort of fun race at Daytona, you know, 100 laps or something on iRacing and just, you know, have a fun but competitive time on there and kind of show everybody what it's all about. The drivers will learn a bit about it. Fans can learn a bit about it. They've already got eNASCAR, you know, on TV. So why not make it a bigger deal? Now, you know, the biggest thing with NASCAR is that they need to draw in young people if they want to survive. Having this going on during this situation, playing video games, as bad as it sounds, you know, I know it's a racing simulator, but at the end of the day, people consider it to be a video game. This, this could be huge because not only can you say that nascar was able to keep going they were able to find something to do to provide entertainment to people while the entire sports world was shut down but it's going to show people that if they buy a 200 dollars sim rig they can race on the track with nascar drivers with f1 drivers with everything so i think that, that nascar is at a point right here where they have a great opportunity you know, the sport is very grounded in tradition, so there's going to be people who don't like this. But at the end of the day, you've got to get more people who are into it, into it, 
And uh, this this is a huge opportunity right here. So I, I want to hear you guys' thoughts about this. I know this isn't my usual tone of video, but I just think that NASCAR really needs to take advantage of the situation and uh, at least try and provide some sort of product during this because with no eyes on any other sport, NASCAR can draw big money right here and big uh, ratings. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe for me. I know this isn't sim racing content, but at least I'm talking about it. And I really want to hear your comments about this. Again, I hope you and your family are well. It's, you know, the media is very saturated with stuff about this situation. But I wanted to address my perspective and talk about how NASCAR can uh, really capitalize on the situation, as heartless as that sounds. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next race.